Good day, everybody. Handle Barber Dave with Handle Barber Dave's Barber Shop at Home Shaves. Uh, a little bit late afternoon shave today. I wanted to wait until Chad uh, from the TSC, uh, my partner, uh, did his shave video uh, with his brand new Blackland Vector uh, and try to match his shave. Um, so first right out of the gate, we wanted to match him so much because he's my brother and we did do the, the owner's part of the radio show last night. And I'm hoping everybody that I should get the radio show out by the end of the week. I'm hoping. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but I wanted to, to show my solidarity, um, by giving myself some blisters and, uh, showing my solidarity with my, with my brother, Chad. Um, Chad, as your dad had echoed, uh, there's one word that's going to become very important as you uh, get older and as you uh, become more of a, a person that does some manual labor. And that word is a, a plural, and it's called gloves. Just a joke. But yeah, gloves will help with uh, your stigmata that you've got going on. Um, so just, you know, for future reference, you may want to want to think about that. Um, today, we are going to match uh, Chad Shave. I, too, am not a huge Bay Rum fan. Uh, I do have some, but I chose to match his shave. So we'll be using uh, Captain's Choice North for the uh, shaving soap. We'll be using, as he did, a Paladin. But this is a Paladin Chief. Uh, this is one of the last ones that had the Lee Sabini knot in it. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. That's been soaking. Uh, we will be using for our aftershave, we will be using Captain's Choice North. And I dusted off a bottle, even though it's rather warm here, I dusted off the bottle of really the only Bay Rum that I, well, it is the only Bay Rum that I have and the only one that I really like. Uh, and that's Ogallala Lime and Peppercorn Bay Rum. I compare this to the Dominica Lime. Uh, it's got a little bit more pepper and to the Royal Bay Rum. Uh, I haven't tried many others, but uh, good stuff. And of course, we will be using the Black. Blackland Vector. Now, in Chad's video, he was talking about it being uh, somewhat uh, tail heavy. Um, it really is by itself, but as you would do with a sword or any type of, of, of uh, uh, edged weapon, you're looking for the balance point. And the balance point, believe it or not, for this razor is right in front of the indentation. So if you hold the razor back a little bit further, maybe with your thumb and your forefinger just above where that is you can see and i'm not putting any pressure that that is where it balances at so that's going to make a difference on this by holding it back further it is going to get in its proper it, you, you won't be shaving with it like this you'll be shaving with it like this and that puts it in its proper um, angle so chad try that and anybody else who feels that this uh, razor is unbalanced it really isn't hence the reason why it's machined right there that's to let you know that that's the balance point Okay, and it's just like any other sword when you're looking at between the hilt and the blade. So try that as well. Any um, uh, any questions on that? Uh, just uh, put it down in comments. Uh, we're going to be using alum at the end today, and then of course we'll follow up with the men and talc. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, I hope everybody is doing well for a Tuesday. Uh, it's a fairly warm day here today. Uh, we're looking at the, the last of the sub-100 temperatures, we think. That's what they keep saying. And I'm going to be loading the Captain's Choice right in the tub. Now, Chad had mentioned about making Captain's Choice a little thinner. Um, I agree to that to a, a certain extent. Uh, I think it's just a good soap all the way around. It is very water-reliant. Um, but... You know, a 10, 15 second load is pretty much all you need. I think you folks are really going to enjoy the owner's round table uh, on uh, the radio show coming up. Uh, it's 45 minutes long, but uh, we have uh, we had a lot of fun doing it. And all I've got to do is do some post-production stuff, add the commercials, and uh, I should be able to. I'm going to work on it uh, tonight, and so we'll see if we can get that out. And in discussions, uh, with me being at the barber shop uh, four days a week, we're probably going to be looking at doing the show once a month with maybe some uh, some blurbs in there 
every two weeks or so. I do want to get to the point where I'm actually uh, also interviewing some vendors and some members. So please uh, make sure you look at the vendor or excuse me, at the uh, media forum for those announcements. Uh, one thing we are working on, and I'm hoping to maybe do it by June, is a live radio show. Now, live in the sense that, you know, as much as we can do it either via Instagram or more than likely Facebook, uh, where we'll pick a date and time um, that uh, is convenient for everybody, and uh, you can uh, call in or t uh, type in to the show, uh, and we'll take questions and answers and stuff like that right on the uh, right on the radio. So hopefully that'll be happening soon. Okay, uh, I do have a Feather Pro Guard uh, blade in here. I found that that's my favorite one, uh, and I think it's got number th four on the blade. So this is my I think my seventh shave, eighth shave with the uh, with the vector. So as I said, to find the balance point, if you put your thumb and your forefinger just above that indentation in the handle, the razor is incredibly balanced and you don't have to do any work. So it does require, you know, if you're used to holding your razors up further, it does require a little bit of getting used to, but once you find that sweet spot, uh, you don't even have to think about it. I mean, literally, it'll put it right at the right angle for you. North End itself is a wonderful soap. Um, it's one that I reserve for usually warmer or cooler weather, rather, because it can get a little bit cloying when it's when it's hot. Because those of you that that have lived out in the Southwest or live out in the Western states know that when you have low humidity, um, we have what we call swamp coolers, uh, and those will uh, put humidified air into the house, uh, but once it gets to a certain point, and basically the way those humidifiers, the, those swamp coolers work, um, is they take water and they pour it over a, uh, a pad of some type, whether it be straw or uh, whether it be a synthetic material, and then the evaporation of the cooler air is what causes the cooler to come in. The nice thing about the evaporative coolers is you can leave your windows open while you have the cooler on and you can you know you can usually get 20 25 degrees out of out of a swamp cooler. So this, and then but when it gets to be our monsoon season when it starts to get uh, a little bit uh, more humid we then turn on our air conditioners close up the house and breathe incredibly dry air for four months. I like the air conditioner. It's very expensive. Uh, you can average on your uh, electric bill, you can average three to $400 a month when in the hotter season because the thing's running 24 hours a day. Because in Tucson anyways, and I'm sure Chris in the high desert where he's at, you know, we can be into the, we can be a hundred degrees at 11 o'clock at night and then it'll dip into the nineties and then maybe we'll get into the eighties if we're lucky. So the air conditioner is running constantly. So soaps can become very cloying, very easy. Cause a lot of people don't realize, even if you go with a, uh, 20 sear, uh, you know, the new 20 sear, even 30 sear air conditioners. Um, you're looking at only getting about 20 to 25 degrees maximum cooling. 
So in our dog days this summer, which is June, we can easily be consistently 110 to 115 degrees. Um, the hottest on record here, I believe is 121, but that was, and all of our temperatures are shade temperatures. So in the, uh, in the sun itself, it can be quite a bit, uh, quite a bit hotter. So with that being the case, if you can get 25, you know, 25, maybe pull out 30 degrees out of your air conditioner, which can cause it to freeze up and it's 115 degrees, you're still in the high eighties, low nineties. So you get used to it, but I will tell you, even the high eighties and low nineties can feel cool. So by watching Chad's video, I would say if he adopts a little bit of a different finger position where he holds the razor, I think he's going to find it much more balanced. And especially on the upward strokes, I hold it even back even further and just let the razor float on my skin uh, because it does have that balance point. You know, by looking at it, although I have not talked to uh, to Shane, and looking the way it was machined, that makes every bit of sense that that is a balance point because you look at it, grab it, and boom, it's instantly balanced. And that's why I'm such a big fan of this razor, is the engineering standpoint of this is phenomenal. The balance is better than the RX if you find the right balance point for you. Now, I've always shaved with uh, my hand a little bit further back on any DE or SE razor. So for some of you, it may require, now don't go too far back or it's going to become uh, head heavy. But right, like I said, if your thumb and forefinger are right in this area, you're gonna be completely balanced and you're not even gonna to need to hold it. In fact, when I shave with it, I am using those two fingers only and then just resting these for, for balance. Um, other than that, nothing. Um, so we'll rinse off here and we'll be right back for our final thoughts. Okay, we're back. Um, final thoughts. Uh, aftershave, the North Aftershave is wonderful. Uh, the uh, I may have to revisit my Bay Rums uh, because it's been probably over a year since I've used this. And um, it matches perfectly with the North, by the way. So I highly recommend if you are going to go with it, the Ogallala Bay Rum Lime and Peppercorn. Um, once again, on the, uh, the balance of the razor... Like I said, thumb and forefinger just above the indentation on the handle, and I think uh, you'll be in good shape. Um, I will affirm, to me anyways, that the uh, that the Pro Guard is the most efficient blade for me. Um, so that's it, Chad. I hope you had fun with my uh, stigmata. Uh, don't forget to join us on the Shaving Cadre at www.theshavingcadre.com. And also, please, uh, for those of you who have not listened before, the TSC radio show will be coming out hopefully by the end of this week. So keep an eye on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and also uh, right here on The Shaving Cadre. Hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday evening, and we'll see you next time. Take care.